In this video, we talk about suicidal thoughts and depression. Your discretion is advised. Hi, welcome to Dash Cam. So, um, I've always wanted to do this, like, just put a camera up while I'm driving so you can capture all the things of Britain King. You know what I'm trying to say, brother? It's pretty lit. Um, I want to talk about something that's, like, really prevalent in today's teenage society, you know? Um, I went to church camp last week and they were like if you struggle with depression or anxiety or anything raise your hand and like literally 70 to 85 percent of the 30 or 40 people in there raised their hands and they went to the front because um, we were at church camp so we were going to pray for them and And um, so then they said, anybody who has struggled with depression and or um, suicidal thoughts or attempts, please raise your hand and come to the front. And like, like the majority of the group, they were up at the front because a lot of them struggle with that and stuff, I guess. Well, not I guess, they do struggle with that. And I had never realized how serious and prevalent of a problem this is and my school that I go to a lot of the kids joke about it they're like man I got a 65 on my test I'm gonna kill myself and like at the church camp this year that I was just like man that's it's not something to joke about because it's serious it's not a it's not something to take lightly or to joke about it's an actual problem yeah. and Yeah, me and Armando were talking about that. Y'all know Armando. He's been on my channel 5,000 times. Um, but, like, we were talking about that the other day because, like, one of us, I pretty sh I don't remember who, one of us made a joke about it. And then, like, later that day, he came to me and he was like, he was like, hey, I know you don't really do it that much. He said, he, he didn't say you, he said we. He said, I know we don't really do it that much, but we really shouldn't because there are people that actually struggle with that. Because, like, I, I even used to struggle with that a lot. Like, you, I told you that whole story. But, like, I used to struggle with that a lot. And, like, yeah, it's, like, a serious thing. Like, a lot of people like I feel like 80% of like the population probably has made a joke about that once or twice and it's like yeah but that's not something to joke about because like it's a serious problem and we're going east I know that's super random but I saw that thing and I had to say it and so like a lot of their reasons for doing that was because they didn't feel accepted and they didn't feel loved and they just felt like nobody loved them or cared for them and they they uh just kind of felt that emptiness, you know, and, like, rejected, like, everything that is negative, that's pretty much what they felt, and so they're like, I'm just gonna end it all, and this one kid, he said that he went into his closet, put a belt around his neck, and then blacked out and woke up with paramedics around him, and... <clears throat> And then, yeah, so that was his first attempt. And then his second attempt, he went and he got a gun. And he went to pull the trigger, but the gun got jammed. So he was like, you know, I've tried twice. So apparently someone wants me alive for something. And so, like the people who struggle with suicidal thoughts, attempts, and depression, and anxiety, and they don't feel loved or accepted, I feel like, because I'm a Christian, and he's a Christian, and as Christians, as God's people, we're supposed to show love and kindness, and like, at, like even at uh, Christian schools, people still commit suicide a lot. And it's, and even in, like, everywhere, it's a problem. So I just feel like as a group of people, like, even if you're not Christian, which I, I, I mean, I would advise you, you be, because it's uh, pretty awesome. But I agree. <laughs> I, can, I can confirm this is a true statement. But even if you're not, like, even if you're not, you can agree that 
committing suicide is wrong. And because not only are you hurting so many people by your actions, you're, it just like causes something like you don't want someone to struggle with, but you're not thinking about that at the time because you're too focused on the negativity. And I just feel like as, I don't know, like we should start something to make people feel loved and accepted and just like help them like through whatever yeah. they might be going through, like depression or just like being sad and like just be there for um, those people and like just show them God's love and show them kindness and just love them and just because you don't want like imagine if your best friend was struggling and was depressed and you're trying to help them but you couldn't because they were too focused on the negativity and then they killed themselves and then you're like man I wish I could have done more like instead of like having to go through that like if it's just one person like that a lot of times that really helps but if it's like everyone around that person loving on them and helping them then that like can completely change their yeah. life and that's what I me and some uh, friends from school him and uh, Jeremiah Orozco we're we're going to like I'll tag his Insta. I'd say tag I'll link his Instagram in the description just because you mentioned him I feel like it's kind of my responsibility to link him now so his Instagram yeah. Jeremiah his Instagram will be linked in the description but like we were all talking well I talked with Keenan and I talked with Jeremiah separately but uh, we all pretty much agree on the same thing that a lot of places are really clicky and like even our school and um I feel like high school is really hard on some people and I feel like people should like it's a hard time so people should help each other and not like exclude people or like just be like oh they look weird they talk weird they're funny looking they, they're just weird and just exclude them from everything because that happens a lot and, and it does more damage than you would think exactly and especially like, if someone's already like in like struggling with certain things uh -huh. and I feel like as a uh, people group people you know just as a as a school community like it's a small school so it's I mean it could potentially happen but like as a small school as a instead of like separate um not not denominations friend groups like yeah this. friend groups like instead of that I feel like everyone should come together and help each other and be a community instead of like separate tribes. I don't know. Tribes, yeah. I can't think of the word, but... Yeah, like... I just feel like everyone should come together to be a community and a fellowship of people. And that's just what's been on my heart lately. So, yeah. Alright, so thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked this video. I'll see you all in the next one. Go check out Brain King. His link will be in the description. Love you all. Hope you all enjoyed this video. See you all in the next one. Goodbye.